The next basic dot drill is the hourglass with one foot drill. The purpose of this drill is to challenge the athlete to be precise while performing quick single foot side to side footwork agility. In this drill, the athlete will jump to the center, jump out, and jump over and repeat. The athlete will start the drill with the right foot flat on the bottom right dot and the left foot off the ground. They will jump forward to the center dot, jump to the top right dot, jump to the opposite side, and reverse the movement going backward. They will repeat the movement over and over in the allotted time, making sure to hit each dot. The athlete should start the movement by shifting their weight towards the center dot and push off with the right foot. They will make sure to stay on the balls of the foot throughout the drill. Any heel contact with the ground will slow the athlete's pace and cause unnecessary stress on the ankle joints. The athlete should make sure to keep the knees and hips slightly flexed during the movements. This will help them to efficiently transfer the force from the hips through the foot and down to the ground. Proper technique will teach the athlete to avoid locking the knees and hips, which will reduce the likelihood of an ACL tear as they perform in competition. Locking the knees when performing lower body movements is the number one cause of serious knee injury and must be stressed to all athletes while learning proper lower body mechanics. Female athletes should pay special attention to the locking of their knees since they tend to be quad dominant causing many of them to perform these movements with their knees locked out. The athlete will make sure to keep the hip square as the left foot is off the ground. Any unnecessary hip flexion forward or backward on the side of the floating leg will slow down the athlete and reduce their balance. The athlete will make sure to practice the drill with the right foot and the left foot. The hourglass with one foot drill is the second and third skill component in the dot test and should be mastered before moving on to more difficult movements. Remember, the basic dot drills specifically teach proper footwork, body positioning, landing, and cutting mechanics. Any athlete that competes in a sport that requires them to move on their feet should implement the dot matrix into their training. Dot drills are designed to improve quickness, agility, balance, coordination, as well as ankle, knee, and hip strength. Most coaches give an athlete 30 seconds to get as many reps in as possible before switching partners or utilizing a 30 second rest period. Being accurate at a controlled speed inevitably produces a better score since the dot test penalizes the athlete by adding a second to their time for each dot that is missed. An athlete should see a micro progression in how many revolutions they successfully perform and the number of missed dots in the 30 second interval as they continue to practice the drill. Remember, the athlete will jump to the center, jump out, and jump over and repeat.